In this video, I would like to show how we can generate automatically uh, HTML5 spider control HMI by um, from an Excel sheet. The Excel sheet uh, contains the list of all the objects that we would like to have included in our HMI, sends it to the SCADA server and the code emitter engine, which um, is in there. The code emitter engine will use the standard objects and also your macro. It will work in the www.scd fold web editor um, directory. And we can then copy the generated tech files to the PC based editor to modify, to continue, to integrate in our project. We will start with the Excel sheet. The Excel sheet uh, contains um, this row of commands. Uh, which s are sent to the SCADA server. It will open the project, open the uh, tech file and start adding objects. It will add the objects um, just by um, calling the name of the respective tech field. We will then modify position x, y, w and we modify internal references to texts to other variables. Um, we'll open several tech files, we will save them and in the end we'll make a build all and the project is done. To start this we will press uh, this button starting uh, internal basic script which will go through this column and send the commands to uh, the web server. On the right hand side we see uh, how the project was generated. Uh, directly inside the SCADA server we'll open the project and we see our pages that were generated automatically containing a couple um, of objects. If next thing is we will copy um, these files which were just generated to the working directory of our uh, own project and we're now able to open this with our PC based editor and continue uh, the project that we would like to integrate then. Uh, the next thing is I would like to show how we can um, create um, for instance this pump macro so all we have to do is to have a project where we just start designing this object this object consists um, of a button showing three different uh, vector graphics uh, in function of a variable from gray to red to green um, we will si save it uh, under the name that we want to give it. Here it's a pump type one dot tech. And what we have to do is to use the cross ref uh, functionality to identify uh, the, the references inside the this object that we would like to uh, change from the Excel sheet. So uh, by default, the reference, an internal reference, has the index minus one um, to be able to modify it from the Excel sheet, we'll have to give an index starting from zero, um, and if we have more than that, we'll just make consecutive numbering from zero, one, two, etc. All we've got to do is to save this tech file to the working directory um, of um, the web editor, and like that, it will be able to uh, use. Um, your very own macro in your next project. You should also not forget to add the graphic files, in this case these three SVGs, also to the working directory just to make it available to the generator. Thanks for watching.